tonight. It's Friday Night Baseball presented by Chevrolet from City Field. Okie Betts, who had a tremendous first half of the season, leading the Dodgers. As Justin Verlander leads the Mets onto the field here in New For the Dodgers, Dan against, Ple against Ver uh, Verlander. Yeah, this guy who was awesome last year. This year. And Verlander's first pitch oh! is a fastball. This one at the bottom of the zone. Nimmo, the center fielder for the Mets. And he has it to retire. Good afternoon to talk to Buck Showalter and how the veteran pitchers just raved about throwing to Al. The plate for the Dodgers. And Verlander misses with that. Freeman. All the other way to hit to left center field in a day and age where we're so hung up on. League leaders in doubles. And a big swing on that 3-1 fastball from Verlander. Makes two coming from Verlander. Outside! And it's outside, as you heard from... Here's Will Smith. Outside! Let me ask you this, if he has a bad night behind the dish. Is he dead? Let's see. Clearly a swing. Right, right ball, if he one batter Martinez as well. This by Smith on a high fastball. And there's Alvarez doing what he liked. Loud by Alvarez this year as Verlander okay. drops in strike three. And the big curveball freezes. See, surprising to see a hitter oh. of this caliber with that low of an average. It, it really center field the left center. Nope. One ball, one strike on Muncie. Not impressed. Two balls, one strike right. on Muncie. And just a little bit more free swing. A good breaking ball there by Verlander. One one curve. Muncie gets a piece to stay alive. A slider that stayed. Muncie fouls that one off. And the Dodgers team ERA is four and a half. Two on Muncie. And Verlander misses with the curves. Now three and two, and Freddie Runner going, and Muncie Inside. takes ball four. So two walks in the inning. Verlander could. To your point, Wayne, they've gone through four rookies that have been in that minor league system, too, and they've kind of run through that reservoir already. They're face at the break this year. Martinez strikes out on a high fastball. Verlander walks to his for the Dodgers. And there was a strike to Nimmo, who you know, a lot of people feel six years old coming into free agency at the right time. One thing I found interesting, it seems like eight inning performances, but you pretty much know what you're going to get. He's going to give you a quality six, seven innings. Brandon Nimmo's back at it, saying that it is a home run. Right before the oh. All-Star break, there was a lot of conversation. I know the Mets are going to be. Maria strikes oh. in the breaking ball again for a strike. The Mets aren't there yet. First, to avoid any sort of sell-off by Billy Epler and the Mets front off. Going here in July. It was a 7 and 19 month of June that set the Mets back in the second half. And I think one of the things, Buck Showalter, you're talking about, you know, having an ace in your preserve. But in Senga, oh. who's been terrific, but they thought Quintana. Called strike. Lindor is a natural right hand for Lindor. Nice job. One ball, one strike. Lindor. Which is a, a bit peculiar considering well, it's an all star game in front. Nope. Two balls, two strikes on Lindor. Now three balls and two strikes as we try to land that slurve. Lindor able to fight it off, and it's still three and two. And bonding with her, and he's had that dad right strength ever since. And he takes strike three, called on a fast. Alonzo didn't get to put on his customary show at the home run derby. Oh. He and Max Muncy are actually at the bottom of since 1961. It's like Alonzo does. It makes it a lot easier to swallow the swing and miss. There's ball four, so with a base open, Arias set. plus runs. He's been a very, it's been a slow oh. start for him, and he needs to pick it up. Marte poured over, and has won some gold gloves in his career. Right now, at 42 and 48, entering Outside. Friday, but they vastly underperformed. I take the over win. Oh. Walter, the former Diamondback, a veteran. You got Jason. There's a pitch in Verlander's favor for a strike. Well, it makes Inside. it so much easier when you have guys like Betts and Freeman in the deal for the Cubs.
didn't get much production from Jason Hayward. They did win the World Series. Gold Glove winner as well. He takes ball three from Justin Verlanders. He's in center field. Alonzo at first. It seems like it has Jake. Pitching, they've got a rock solid bullpen. Oh. Everyday players that you can run out of there in and out. All come close to playing their best baseball of the year. Oh. He thinks their best baseball is still in front of him. Yeah. He's able to at least punch that one foul on a 96 mile an hour fastball. It's the the analytical part, but the cool part about it when you go to talk. That is coming from an organization that is pretty headway. Still one ball, two strikes on Hayward. Freeman. It's ball to Pete Alonso at first base. Alonso's had a good year defensively. Red Sox come back. Down 3-0 yep. against the Yankees. Mets fans. Got off to such a hot start going into the middle of May. It was almost like. Well, the guy who just caught that 95 mile an hour fastball from Berlin. Outman. Yeah, getting back to Alvarez, we were walked around. Verlander into a 3 2 count. Buck Showalt. Verlander misses there. He was ahead of Outman, but he walks. You know, his first pitch strike rate is barely over 50% this year. You know, to your fact. We talked about Marte going from one year to the next. It's a tough climb to get back up to that 275, 280. Break in 19. McNeil enough as David Peralta backs up. Uh, neither team loses a, a challenge deep review, so they go to the headset. And then and then they could go to replay. So the call was I, I didn't know you were Two balls and two strikes. Betts, the second baseman who usually plays these. And that's really oh. a difficult thing for some lefties to do. He moves the ball in towards right. And I think that's what makes him doubly tough. And that cutter really in 2016. It's ahead of Brett Beatty, one ball and two strikes. Years ago. Balls and two strikes on Beatty. Yeah, and more than. No, he did Beatty trying to lay off, but he could not. Strike three, according to. Thank you very much as Miguel Rojas leads off the third. The Mets saw the Padres right before the all against the Phillies. It's been a really a, kind of a straight on the struggle bus. No. Nope. The biggest surprise from a Mets standpoint is that really soon that maybe just maybe oh. they, they look at that rotation with Senga. These 20 game runs where they go at least 15 and 5. They need a big run. Rojas jammed as he bloops one, two. Oh. All one to Freddie Freeman who drew a walk in. A number that's gotten nope. harder and harder to reach as Young Award winner. Over 3,200 nope. career strikeouts. <laughs> two balls, two strikes on Freddie Freeman. For all the former Met. Who pitched until he was 45 and Verlander, he could make it that.